All right. Uh, retake of recording the first replay of season three of How I Tank for episode one. Uh, with me, I have KM Huey. You know What's him. Up? He posts videos. We have Le Guin. Um, he is a cool dude that has nothing that to do with tofu. And we have Rachel, a very brand new tanker and a 12-year-old boy on the internet. Named Rachel. <laughs> um, so we are now observing Tofu Smurf playing the IS-3 on my Abby. Not mine's. Um, my mine's has changed a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, map rebalance. Uh, anyway, we are going down the 1-2 line to make good use of our tank's good gun depression and, Wait, well, I guess not the IS-3, <laughs> the Carnivorin and the T-32's good gun depression on Tofu tagged along because he's a bro. Bro, bro. Um, Those are best. Yes. And we get to watch some very good tanking on this Cromwell's part. <laughs> oh, yeah. Land of Tiger is best player in a... Followed closely behind by Steinberg. I'm personally a big fan of zombie cat girls, but who wouldn't be? I question. think I missed something a lot. I, I would like my cat girls live. <laughs> oh. Yeah, zombie cat girls parts tend to fall off at inopportune moments. You can't have that. So Tofu and I are uh, moving up to gain good positioning on any tanks that might come up the ridge. And Huey's holding the fort. Huey's alone. gonna attempt to hold the fort alone. Spoilers, he sucks at it. <laughs> You're so friendly. Um, he makes Carnarvon look bad. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Man, good thing you're on the Conqueror right now. Completely different tank from your Carnivorin at the current moment. Yeah, yeah, it's completely different. <laughs> For those who don't know, the uh, stock Conqueror is pretty much the same thing as an upgraded Carney. Anyway, so Tofu here is side scraping, and for those who don't know, side scraping is when you reveal the side of your tank and shoot out, covering the most of your frontal hull while reducing the angle of shots. Or I guess maximizing the angle of shots would be the proper terminology. And then putting out punishment to any enemies. So you Rachel, a good job of keeping these guys hiding too. Mm -hmm. Rachel, you no, don't answer that question in chat. <laughs> it was a real dumb question. Don't show my noobishness. Blah. I can't even. I'm so upset, Theo. <laughs> I was gonna ask you a question. Oh, okay. Sorry. Go for it. Yeah. With your <laughs> limited just... experience in the game being mostly tier one through three, almost. I'm not even three yet. <laughs> do you have any questions? based off what you've seen so far in the game. How do you get your tanks to go so fast? <laughs> <laughs> well, for starters, you don't play low-tier French. Yeah, low-tier French are not Vive speed. la France, man! Like, French are the best! The French tree is quite unique in the fact that it starts off slow and armored, and then completely Loses changes armor. later on, <laughs> and becomes <laughs> really <laughs> fast. <laughs> So that and they not end up armored. fast with no armor? Yes. yes. Yeah. That's the way I want to go. I mean, I believe in doing it without protection. Whoa. And you gotta go fast, oh. right? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> First one there wins. Sorry. So as you notice, I'm slowly dying, because I remember this game, that T-43 that's up there wasn't doing jack. So. Well, I'm and he was using the 122 control. derp. So. Which I noticed since the removal of the uh, 100 millimeter on those tank lines, uh, more people have been opting to use the derp. Um, derp being uh, howitzers, slow moving projectile HE cannons. <laughs> and yes, she's still confused. Yes. <laughs> Guns that don't fit the tank, Rachel. Yay, layman's terms. Here's a question. I've noticed that at this tier, people aren't really worried about hiding, whereas at my tier, people are really using the cover, and like really, like we get down in those bushes, we get down and dirty with the bushes. And at this tier, you guys are just like fuck bushes. I will shoot the everything. Well, 
there's well, a so... it's a little bit of a difference though, because like on some maps you want to use the bushes and the trees. On this map, it doesn't really do anything for you because they're not as he dense as other maps. Yeah, Furthermore, um, your tanks are way bigger, also. Yeah, so. and you want to use corners to protect yourself on maps like this. Uh, also, other reasons is okay. um, you haven't started seeing heavy tanks yet, which heavy tanks are nearly impossible to hide in bushes. Right. Unlike light tanks or medium tanks, which have a decent camo, camo vial value. Um, uh, you can speak well. Then. Yes, and See, furthermore, English is also hard for you, sir. Yeah, English. <laughs> English sucks. Um, well, I'm there with him. Furthermore, you have a larger HP pool to play with that, uh, and more reliable armor. Got it. So the cover's not as necessary. Mm -hmm. I well, mean, and if there had been Artie on the other team, you would have seen Tofu in a completely different position than where he was at there, because where he is is exposed to artillery or most artillery. So he probably would have been playing further back be uh, behind the rock where Smig was, or maybe even further back than that. So mm -hmm. got it. Where you set up depends a lot on the enemy team's composition, the map, what you're playing. And what you're facing. Yeah, exactly. Which, hence the enemy team composition. <laughs> so. But very good question. Um, Let's get a you, new question in. What's the one she typed? Um, no, it's <laughs> about see. the video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I didn't start the video when he specifically told us to start the video. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm like three minutes behind you guys on oh. the video. So I'm like, oh, nice. they're shooting at each other. <laughs> we'll practice timing a little better on the next one. Hooray. Um, <laughs> apparently counting from three isn't enough. We have to start it's, at three. We're doing you it know, live. Here's a, here's a shirt that I saw at college the other day. It said, English major, you do the math. And that really applies to me. <laughs> Numbers is hard. <laughs> we'll clap this time. Okay, yeah. Verbal on cues, that's good. That's go. good. On the fourth that's one, not a no, verbal cue. So oh, that's still counting. <laughs> Shh, crap. Alright, see you on the next replay. Oh, see you next replay. Welcome to the next replay. 416 on. Um, yes, oh, this is Al Halu. You can do it. <laughs> uh, I forgot the name of the map for a second. It's on mine! On mines. Um, so, at the beginning of this battle, I was really perplexed, and you can ask Huey, it's true. Uh, I had no idea where to go in this tank, because I like to play this tank as a medium, and I've been slowly figuring out this tank is not a medium, but really a tank destroyer disguised as a medium tank. Um, well, so... I don't know how Theo is in tank destroyers, he plays them like mediums anyway, so <laughs> it's a medium. Yeah, it's a moot point, but I actually do really well, and I play this tank kind of how I'm supposed to, even though at the beginning of this game, I do absolutely nothing. You want to know what I've noticed about this tank? It looks like a pancake? It's pretty flat. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a mind reader. Meanwhile, I'm just hiding. So, to note this thing is gun depression, look where I have to get to get shots on the, uh, the little ridge line over there. And this Pershing's just following me for no apparent reason. You're e famous, dude. He just wanted to take a look at the pancake tank. I like the way he has stripes. You can buy stripes in game, you know. Well, I thought you were going to buy me a duck skin for my duck tanks. Well, no, we don't have to buy it. We just download it. Just oh, find it. Awesome. Awesome. Can't wait to have ducks on my duck so I can duck in my duck. Duckception. Oh, God. And then when you get shot at, you can just yell duck and roll around. Har, har, har. Har, har, har. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a guy. There's there, a guy. There's some enemies. I remember being really frustrated as Artie on this map because nobody went down the bowl. I'm going to bet Theo takes... Oh, fuck. I'm going to bet you take, like, 300 damage falling this battle. At least I'm 300? I'm going to bet that he dies. I'll take that bet. <laughs> you, you know what happens. Oh, what are we betting, yeah. though? Uh, high fives. Oh, I bet the shit out of some high fives. Be <laughs> careful, though. High fives are a rare commodity. Oh. Nope, suck uh. it. Suck it, Jeremy. 
<laughs> now every every maneuver is gonna be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching this E fifty run up here. The only thing we had was a type, a couple of uh, tier sevens, and a T thirty two. And I was going, oh god, I'm so dead. He was yelling at me in Skype to go go help with that. I was like, go kill the E fifty man. And he was like, no, I finally got a, pot, a spot where I can actually aim at something. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw that what? the uh, Pershing was coming down the hill and I'm just taking blind shots, which is why I'm guessing Rachel was about to ask a question, but I totally interrupted her. No, you you were the boss, Theo. I just follow your lead. Anything you say goes. Strangely enough, that's how platoons act, and normally I get us killed. I don't know why they listen to me. I don't know. Tier 1 and 2, you just kill all of the things, and then I don't even get to shoot people. Well, that's what happens when you play a T-18. <laughs> also, <laughs> Huey. Thanks, Huey. What did I do? Yeah, Huey. Huey. Wait, I think it was lost, actually. Oh. Huey. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask why the hell you just shot a blank hillside, but then you already answered it, so... Mm -hmm. Sometimes blind shots are very useful. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of kills off of them before, so... It just takes some educated guessing. So yeah. take a look at this uh, pro gun something. depression. Totally not That's revealing so myself. Good work. Thank you. And I even dodged a shot. It's like you've done this a whole lot, like more than is healthy. Probably. <laughs> but I guarantee you, everybody else in this call has played the game more than I have. Whoa. But do they right, put maybe. the videos on YouTube with their friends? Ah, oh, damn it! I'm part of that. I can't. Oh. <laughs> 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 please don't laugh like that side, anymore, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, by please don't, I mean quit it now. <laughs> Theo. He's now, practicing for Halloween. They don't know me by that. Is that man. how lumberjacks? Oh, That's snig. The evil lumber lumberjack. <laughs> is, is that how lumberjacks laugh? <laughs> yes. And they they know my real name. I'm just. Everybody's known his real name for like a year and a half now. Yeah, these guys suck at maintaining screen names. Besides, you introduced me as Rachel. You didn't introduce me as Bears Are Best. So well, see, I mean, now you kind of ruined my anonymity. Because you just gave your game name, and now all the dudes are going to be hitting on you because yeah. you know you're a girl. I mean, a 12 year old boy. Uh, I don't think they will, because they'll probably be like, this girl, a real dumbass. <laughs> That might be true, but really <laughs> I expect that to be top-rated comment. It's now. still the internet. Just saying. Top-rated comment: This girl, a real dumbass. <laughs> <coughs> 2013. That's their username now. 69 star. <laughs> These girls are dumbass. Understand? You, know, yeah, you gotta get the. This is a very exciting replay. It doesn't get terribly exciting. Yeah. I mean, the point of this is I'm not playing this medium like a dumbass, and I'm I getting. I remember it being a really good game though, so. For yeah, it, it gets better later so. on. <laughs> I'm just well, not Huey doing much. Well, destroyed somebody. Well, yeah, good right. job, Huey. Good job. At this point, I've done about three times the amount of damage that Theo has, but mm -hmm. by the end of the game, he will far surpass me. So, if you take a look at this T32, he has 1,400 hit points, and I know for a fact that the T32 with a turret has 1,500 hit points. Yes. Rachel, these are stats that I have in my head. You've just memorized them? Yes. Yes, that's how... Nerd. <laughs> oh, it was but anyway. this team with that camping E-75. So mm -hmm. I don't but anyway, that T-32 did not have the super turret, which means I could shoot that guy wherever I want, and in fact the turret was probably weaker than the hull. Uh, so. Doubtful. About the same, at least. Ooh, I don't think we the uh, turret is 114. Stock. All is what, 101? Uh, 127. The okay, the T29 is uh, 101. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to snipe again. Uh, this tank has a pretty good DPM for a medium tank, being able to shoot a 320 average damage shell every 6.9 seconds. Accuracy isn't that great, though. Oh, well, it's a Russian gun. It's Russian. It's pretty yeah. fast for a pancake. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, something oh, is shooting me. I just decided I'm in the middle of a canyon. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, what made you decide to just go at that moment? Uh, the tanks on are over there. I have been moving up slowly, so I decide, hey, I'm going to join the fun and get shot on the back of the turret by a <gasps> T-25. Your commander was injured. No! It's Prisoner's right. Joy. I fix him right there. There. 
She's right there. Snap. He may have been hit by a 105 millimeter shell, but I fixed him. I guess uh, it'd be a 90 millimeter. Medical science. I just put a band-aid on. Um, radio operators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> radio operator is by far the most important crew member in your tank. I don't know how to repair people, so I just don't. We haven't introduced <laughs> you to consumables yes, yet. Yeah. yeah, no, you haven't. Well, actually, I have them on auto resupply, but they don't resupply because I don't think that I've ever Use bought them. them. Well, yeah. they don't get terribly useful till I say, reliably no. at Tier 5, because that's when you can start affording them. Uh, especially without a premium account. I mean, how much do they cost? I have like fifty thousand silver. They cost three thousand a pop. Yeah, they, you and don't they're one-time use. Unless you need them. <laughs> but that, I have that, like a lot, of money. So I mean, it will disappear very fast. Anyway, so this ISU had me cornered and then decides to run. So I chase him down as a pancake. Yeah, I was calling him a dumbass the whole time we were playing. By the way, the this ISU tiger really up. wants me dead. Well, that's not very kind. Well, it's a tiger. Can you blame them? I kind of want to replay the tiger. They buffed it a lot. Didn't they buff HP and rate of fire on the last patch? They buffed rate of fire, they buffed maneuverability. They gave it 50 more HP. Um, didn't the uh, top tiger health used to be... 1450. And now it's like 1500. I think so. Anyway, so there's only artillery left. Um, if I remember correctly, I actually have a lot more damage than listed. Yes. Um, I think I like a thousand more damage that I somehow don't remember getting. I decided uh, to go spot for Theo instead of him spotting for me. Well, that's kind. Mm -hmm. How much damage have you done so far? I don't. I don't have all the models. Um, I have listed twenty-seven sixty-two damage. Not too bad. And I believe I end the game with 37. Yeah, it was almost 4. So, this guy's aiming. I don't really want to get hit. He almost destroys me. And so I make liberal use of auto-aim because I'm lazy. Uh, and with 200 pen, I should be able to pen to 212, reliably. Um, should so be able to. Should. RNG makes life... I have bounced a C92 with the Jagdpanzer E100, just saying. Everything you just said sounded like blah 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 to me. <laughs> <laughs> I understood so, the answer. I really wanted to <laughs> physics up that cliff to get at the uh, 155, but Huey just takes a shot and scares him. him. Just drive down on top Don't of him. Don't worry, I, I ram the shit out of him. Yeah, turn him awesome. into a pancake. <laughs> He's like, Here it comes, oh, Jeremy. I can't shoot you, I don't understand. Oh, and he falls off the cliff. Oh, baby. Here's the best part. No he prisoners. Just drown him? Oh. <laughs> oh no, Theo! <laughs> I got him good. Oh, Theo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, join us in the next replay. <laughs> Alright, this is the final replay. It is from Lost Dead Men. Uh, Huey was trying to get his 50 120 double, if I remember correctly, or just grinding it. And we decide to play 50 Bs. Uh, we are very much out tier yeah, 10. And Sorry. Theo's really bad at his 50B. I am super bad at my 50B. And so, this is what tier 10 French tanks look like. It's Rachel. not like a duck at all. And we are down four tier 10s. I want to point that out. Mm -hmm. Didn't need them. Yeah, you kill those supplies. Oh, Lost was shooting APCR. Oh, that's right. He had clan set up on. Yep. Did Loss just run over Matt Damon's house? Yeah. Yep. Matt Damon. It's unfortunate. That was really so, bad. So, we noticed the majority of our tanks are going hill, so we decide to be very, very fragile tanks on tracks. You're really fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our clips alone can destroy two of their tier 10. Why are you on the tracks? That's where I always get killed. Because somebody needs to go tracks. That sounds oh. like a Huey... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was That's Theo's a, idea, thank you very much. Why is there a giant band-aid in the sky over there? Do you see that band-aid? What the hell is that? Oh, that's that those little thingies for the, for the railroad. Train. Oh. Yeah, not a well, band-aid. This is World of Tanks, not World of Trains. Damn. It's not to fix the sky. World of Trains is coming after uh, World of Battleships. 
For what? Oh, Are you lying to me again, Theo? Would I lie to you? Biggest Thank damn God liar. <laughs> I, lie me constantly. I cannot tell a lie. You're lying right now, you son of a bitch! Yeah, so, Lost and I right there, our whole point was to scare this bat chat back in in front of Theo, and I don't know why Theo was being so passive. Because I didn't want to get hit by that 155 or the 120 or that bat chat. But or that fifth. By that other guy that you could kill. So passive. Well, you know what? I think you have the situation under control. <laughs> Whoa. Oh snap, look at Chris landing more than two hits in a row. This is what the French tanks are <laughs> all about later on, Rachel. This is what you go into. It's all about auto loaders. So you get four shots out, or yeah, about four. You load, uh, you, load, you load a four shell magazine, and then you just go dump your load on something. Yep. And then I'll you see. have like a 40 second time of reloading. And see here, I decide, well, I'm going to go flank this guy. Oh, hey there, Jagdpanzer 100's looking directly down the frickin' road. <laughs> he turns around me right there. See, but I I didn't really think about pulling my camera angle up like that to see around buildings. I I don't know. I never thought of doing that. Viewing the position of enemy tanks is a very legitimate and almost required strategy in it's later tiers. Useful skill. It seems like it would be, and I just never even considered it, so that's good. See, you learn something. That's why you should watch all the videos. You should you should blame your 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 brothers in arms, your bros before hoes on that one. He My bros before hoes medals. <laughs> yeah, you, he should have. That bro should have taught you. Hey hey hey! hey. We, that bro know, was Jeremy. Jeremy is that bro. <laughs> My literal bro. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Smig just got TD'd. Just I like, got. I was trying to be all sneaky and get around that corner, and then all of a sudden there's a GWE right there. That's all right. You look cute with your face blown off. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Staring at that wall. He has a specific glow when someone loads all over his face. <laughs> it happens more frequently than it should. That's nasty. <laughs> what is it? 15 centimeters? Or how many? It's uh, 210. No. 210, 210 millimeters. Millimeters. So h how come 21? only every other hit was going through that front armor? Like, I know the front be armor is the best, but it was like every other hit was going through. Was it just where you were hitting? The uh, lower hey, plate... Old is the weaker plate of the two. The upper plate is at a more extreme angle, which... So it bounces the shells off? Yep. Uh, okay. Pretty much because of physics. Physics. <laughs> Who needs them? I know, right? Then it's lost. <coughs> Alright, okay. so Lost leaves the JT to finish off that 500 HP. Jagdpanzer 100 and goes back to interrupt Cap. Because mm -hmm. you know it will only take one shot to finish it. But given the game and then rams the buddy. Teammate. <laughs> wow, lost. To be fair, that 120 just stopped out of the blue. But yeah, I mean, it this stop is out of why the, kinda... this is why tanks should have brake lights. <laughs> they do. They're just not in game. They just don't work in game. So I was yelling at Lost here. I was like, "Nice, kill the 69, kill the 69, <laughs> kill the 69." <laughs> Die, beasting. Oh, beasting. Do you think he means that as a breast reference? Yes. Or is that... No. When I think bee stings, I think breasts. So you guys are about to observe the most lucky 50 bee driver in existence. Well, you know, bad oh. players get all the RNG, so... Mm -hmm. Right? Because this T-110 won't shoot the turret of the 50 bee, which is the least armored part of the tank, and decides to continue pumping shells into the frontal hull of the 50 bee. And <laughs> finally Lost is like, well, screw you. <laughs> well, oh, baby. Just drive that E seventy five just had a clutch reset, and then decides to make sweet ram babies with this. Oh jeez! Oh, I didn't realize that the game actually put holes in the tank animation. Mm -hmm. I've never been that close to someone I've killed. I'm more <laughs> like a sniper. <laughs> Notice how the E five's not shooting at him anymore. <laughs> like screw that! I bounced him way too many times. That guy's invincible. Okay, the yeah, pens are still alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's alive at um, 133 HP, by the way. Not anymore. Alright. 2v2. So Lost has done 5k damage. This is probably the best game he's ever had in his life. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. 
Pretty sure. I think he he's told usually me he's usually on the like the watching end of the five <laughs> k damage. Like, <laughs> if we were to get think, like educational about this, an I example think one would be time the, I did two hundred damage in a game. So see, that's I'll just more that's more of a toot lost my own horn a little though. bit. <laughs> but at tier one and two, that's actually decent. That's, that's more yes. his level. Lost is usually watching one of us do this. Lost, come play tier one and two with me. <laughs> we can suck together. <laughs> Zing. He's really, Actually, he's really a good that, sport about the collective suck. That was a pretty nasty thing that I just said. If you think about it, <laughs> and I'm sorry. We'll guarantee about it. right now that that will be the highlight of the video for Lost. <laughs> the highlight of the video for all of our fucking he's, teenage. He's just gonna teenagers. go back and play it over and over. We can suck together. <laughs> what was that bat doing? That, that bat, bat was uh, hitting Lost's front hole again. Did it even fire? Yeah, he fired. he fired once. Once, yeah. Because I like what? how this person's like, oh, noob battle. Why? Because you lost? Yep, exactly. Because you, you died? <laughs> they were down well, you know, four. The credibility. They had four extra tier 10s and they lost. So. Alright, Wong Min, 1997. Yeah, exactly. Wait, 1997? So, that means he's... Is he 16? Oh, God. Probably. All the Vietnamese players are young. Oh, jeez. That sounds like Jeremy's trying to alienate... <laughs> A group of viewers. <laughs> so this is probably one of the more scary things that can happen in tanks. Staring down that when you're at low health. And then not reversing <laughs> immediately. You gotta right. think about that. Oh my now, goodness. He, they were trying to convince him to go the long way around and Smig and I are screaming, you don't have enough time to go all the way around. You have to. Yeah, no, he's in your base. <laughs> All your base are about to belong to him. To so I was expecting him to go back down the K line and go around the church or something, but no, he decides he wants to go back this way. You know, the way he's been spotted. Right. This is at the time that if I was on the team, I would have been My like, game. Ah, you son of a bitch, you dumbass, get back there. Speaking of which, we will be linking the live version of this uh, gameplay, which it's you cool. only see from Huey's point of view, so it's from the spectator view. Yes. But you can hear our reactions and uh Especially this part I'm like, What are you doing, you idiot? So we thought he was gonna peek out. But Lost dead. actually pulls a smart and shoots wow. through all the tank corpses. We're very proud of our little Lost. He's growing up so fast for a thirteen year old. I'm proud of him too. <laughs> wow. That actually ended a lot better than I expected. I no offense, Lost, feeling. I just thought you would suck at the end. I have a very eerie feeling that Lost peaked here. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all downhill from here, Lost. We're sorry. Yeah, Lost, you might as well just give up now. Alright, in, in, in Lost defense, that was a very well played game. And he's not exactly a bad player, we just give him a lot of shit. So. GG. Anyway, so that concludes Season 3, Episode 1 of How I Tank. Eventually we'll finally get that <laughs> Q&A video out. Um, but yeah, keep asking questions. Like a month to do it, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do it sooner or later. Just, like tell Theo to get it done because mm -hmm. I've been trying to get it done. In all honesty, I've been waiting for better questions. You guys are really slack. They can ask me questions too. Like, yeah. what's it like to be a noob and the only cool person in the whole group? Whoa! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Anyway, so <laughs> catch us next.